Stampin' with Amori and today I am sharing a Christmas card with you. It is Technique Tuesday so I am going to share how to get this ombre look on your greetings. Now it's best to use a large greeting. This is the stamp set. This was actually available last year. I love this one. It's Snowflake Sentiments and it's got some pretty large um, greetings. I'm using the Seasons Greetings. I'm using this snowflake here and I also stamped the inside with the Wishing You a Season of Joy and then I stamped one of the little snowflakes on the on the bottom. But um, this has uh, several different techniques on it. I embossed half of this and then I um, clear embossed these little snowflakes and I've also got a snowflake right here. I don't know if it's going to pick it up in the um, video because it's it's really hard to see but it does add so much to the sentiment it really makes it shine right here and you can see the little snowflake it's just really pretty so it's really um, a pretty simple card um, there are just a few techniques like I said and I will show you how to do those so let's get started all right, so I'm going to use, let's, let me tell you first what you need. You need a piece of basic card. This is the Thick Whisper White, and it's five and a half by four and a quarter. You'll need a piece of Garden Green, and this piece is three by five and a half, and then a piece of scrap for your sentiment, and, well, a large piece of scrap. And we are using the Stamparatus, so you will need the Stamparatus. Now, if some of you don't know what this is, this is Stampin' Up. Um, it's a new tool that we got recently, and it is well worth it. It's weight in gold. It's not a very expensive tool, and it is an awesome tool to have. So be careful when you're using the uh, magnets. You don't want, there's two of them. You don't want to get them together because they will break and snap. Um, they're very very delicate so I already put my sentiment right here and we're going to just stamp that I'm using the Stampin Write markers and I'm using Cherry Cobbler Real Red Garden Green and Old Olive so I'm going to show you how to do this now I'm going to start off with the Real Red and we're just going to color this in and I'm only doing half of the, each word and then we're going to do the other half cherry cobbler so I'm using like a lighter red on the top and a darker one on the bottom and then I'm going to use the garden green on the top here And then we're going to use the old olive on the bottom. This gives a really, really pretty look when it's kind of ombre. It's really pretty. Now, I will probably have to get my head in here because you have to blow some warm air on this because these are the Stampin' Right markers, so you have to moisten them. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up to me so I don't get my head in the way. <sighs> and you just huff on it and then stamp and now you can see the ombre look now I want it darker so I'm going to do it again that's the, the um, point of using the Stamparatus it works beautifully you can do it as many times as you want until you get it as dark as you want so I'm going to do the exact same thing on this one and I think the last one I did like three times if I have to do it again I'll speed up the video so you don't have to watch me do it again all you have to do is do the exact same thing I'm doing here and then again I'm gonna huff on it just some warm air Yeah, and I think I'm going to do it one more time. So I'll just go ahead and speed it up.
So I think I have it now where I want it. Can you see the ombre look in that? Um, it's really, really pretty. So I'm going to clean this off really quick with my Simply Chamois so I don't get it all over. And then we're going to use our circle, layering circle, or actually our layering ovals, and we're going to cut that out. And while I have the big shot up here, I'm going to go ahead and emboss the half. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is emboss this with these uh, swirls and curls. So make sure that's all straight and everything. And we'll send that through. And then I'll get my magnetic platform and we'll... So there's our embossing, isn't that pretty? And then we're going to grab my magnetic platform and then we can cut out our other pieces. So we're going to cut that out. With our regular oval and this one is going to be the scallop. Okay, uh, I'm always dropping my, this is my hostess code for September. I keep on dropping it. Okay, so here is our pieces here. And then next thing that we're going to do, we're going to just set this aside and I'm going to bring up my piece of, um, Garden Green, I'm going to get my Versamark and my little Snowflake, and oh, I need my, my Embossing Buddy first, whoops, and we're going to use that where we're going to stamp this Snowflake. And I'm stamping it on here. And then I'm going to stamp it like a pattern on here. You can go off the paper. And then we're going to emboss this piece. Where I'm going to emboss both of them with some clear embossing powder. Make sure you don't touch your pattern. It's really pretty when it embosses and it's, it's clear so... And if you have any little pieces and we're going to do this one too. I don't know if you can see that when it's, you can kind of get a little bit of, see it on there. It's really pretty. All right, so let me get the heat tool and we will heat emboss these both. Okay, so I have both pieces embossed. They're really pretty. I don't know if you could see that as it was embossing. It's so pretty to watch. So we are going to um, pop this one up with dimensionals. I had to start a new pack of dimensionals. They're all gone. I like to use a lot. <laughs> And then we can put this all together. 
I really love the ombre look. It really looks so pretty. And you don't have to do your typical one color. You can use anything you want. You can use three colors, four colors, what, how many colors you want you can use. So I'm going to use some fast fuse because this is embossed here. This part is embossed. And I like to use some heavier duty so it doesn't come apart. And then we're going to just lay this on here. And it adds so much texture and stuff to this card. And then we're just going to add this to the, not with that on there, but onto the front here. And then let's go ahead and just stamp the sentiment. I'm going to just use shaded sprues. And then I'm going to use this little snowflake again. And you can even put the snowflake on your envelope. It would be really pretty. I always like to stamp the envelopes. So that is it. Here's the other one. But you can see it could go really quickly for your um, holiday cards. And it's it really is so pretty. The... Um, graduated colors on that. So I hope you enjoyed it today. If you need any um, supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop for my blog. This is my hostess code as I pointed out earlier. If you use the hostess code, I put you in a drawing for hostess dollars at the end of the month. So I hope you all have a blessed day and I will catch you in the next one. I'll see you later. Bye.